Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 11 computer. This is if there was a problem resetting your PC, no changes were made. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to do it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in CMD. Best result, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have three commands in the description of my video guys. So go ahead and copy the first one and then just copy like I said and then right click on the top bar of the command prompt window. Select edit and then select paste to paste it in. Once you have everything in like you see it on my screen, go ahead and hit enter to run it. And now there's going to be two more commands. So we're going to be starting with REN. So go ahead and copy the first one and then paste it into the command prompt window and hit enter. And then you're going to do the third one here as well. This is just what's coming up on my screen because it cannot be accessed. But in your case, it should be fine. If you're still seeing that on your computer, I recommend actually restarting your computer and then attempt to run these commands. One way around this potential error message as well that's being in use, if you were going on Microsoft's website and download Windows 11 to a DVD or USB flash drive and then boot your computer off of it and then select the command prompt option, then you could run these commands like I just showed here and then it should work fine. So that's a potential troubleshoot as well if you're unable to boot into Windows. So just want to put that out there, the commands should work fine if you are booting off the DVD. Actually probably encouraged in some ways. So um, if you need to search my video library on how to boot a Windows from an ISO file, you can go ahead and search for that on my channel. But it's a pretty straightforward process, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do a positive will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.